Hi guys, it's Kayleen. I'm here at East to West doing some plant tours. And right now I'm standing outside of the blackthorn part of the plant tour. Uh, we've got two blackthorns lined up here for us to look at together today. We have the 3800 MB and the 3801 MB. Now I know what you're probably thinking, that sounds super similar, and they are very similar to each other, but there are a few key differences that we'll go over today in this video so that you can see if you're looking for a mid bunk floor plan, which one of these is a better fit for you and your family. With mid bunk floor plans, one of the most awesome parts about getting into something like that is it's not necessarily all about the bunk room or all about the kids. There's so many ways that you can use a mid bunk Maybe you are working on the road and need a private office space and don't really want to use your bedroom or living room as that space. As you'll see when we get inside, a mid bunk would be a great fit for that. Also, maybe you bring your kids with you sometimes, but not most of the time. Something like this might be an awesome option for you then too, because you can use that space as something else when they're not along for the ride. So you could use it as a closet or a storage room. The possibilities there are really endless. Before we get into too many of the differences, let's talk about what's the same. So they're going to be the same weight, the same length. They are built the same way. You've got the Asdell siding. Let's take a look at this over here. Laminated walls, high density foam insulation. You've got laminated sidewalls. So when I go like this, they're nice and solid. And for your outside amenities, you're going to have your battery box compartment up front here. And you'll have the same amount of outdoor storage on board on both. This is your main pass-through storage in the front. You've got the LED light strip here to lighten things up if you are packing up when it's darker outside. And then you'll get this smaller compartment on the outside on both the 3800 and the 3801. You have upgrades, people, upgrades with the Moride Solid Steps. You'll get Goodyear tires on board and the CRE 3000 independent suspension system, which is just going to help your wheels move a little bit more like this and a little less like this as you're going down the road, um, which is great when you're towing something huge. You'll feel a lot more stable and safe towing down the road. As you can see on this one, you've got two awnings. You've got one here and one above the slide. That will be true for both of these floor plans. And both are going to give you a propane quick connect and some of these amenities on back, like your backup cam prep, your ladder, and the towing package, which is rated for up to 3,000 pounds of towing. So maybe you wanna bring the boat or a trailer and you can do that with this one. So now let's go inside the 3800 MB. This is where we're starting off. As we walk inside, this is what you're first going to see. So just starting off in the main slide here, you've got your booth and table and chairs, as well as this little pull-out silverware drawer. This is a great place to, to hide some board games or cards so that on a rainier day, you've got something to do with the family. In the 3800 MB, I absolutely love all of the windows. You have such a great view of your campsite. So if you're hanging out inside, maybe the kids are playing outside, you can see what they're up to with these big windows here. These windows all also open. So you can crack all of these open to let in some fresh air on a nice day. And you have your recliners on the campsite in this one with your sofa on the back. You have the three-seater sofa. And again, look at all of these windows. Really great natural lighting to make things feel brighter and bigger in here. And these also crack open to let in some natural airflow. This three-seater sofa in the back here also is a hide-a-bed. So we will show you how that works in just a second. This is one of the most easy setups for a hide -a bed that I have ever seen. It is so cool. I will show you guys how to do that. But on the sides here too, you've got side tables, outlet and USB hookups on both sides. And then across from your entertainment center seating, you'll get this LED fireplace. Works as a little electric space heater too. And you've got the TV here along with this storage compartment. This is super deep storage. You can really fit a lot in here. Standing in front of this hide-a-bed, I'm going to show you guys how this gets set up. 
I am using the Kitchen Island as a little camera holder over there. So this part might not be the best view. I need to get myself a camera person, but check this out. Just me all by myself. You grab from the bottom, lift. It's done. Take a look at that. That was so easy to set up and it's just as easy to pick up from the bottom here again and push in. It pretty much closes itself. So as you could see, that was super easy to set up and take down and allows you to sleep another person out here in your main living room if needed. But now heading over into the kitchen, you've got this nice island here. We'll come back to that. But then along your off campsite slide, you have some counter space on each side of your oven and three burner gas stovetop here. You've got some storage underneath too. And above your cooktop, you have more storage space and a microwave. Take a look at this storage. You have storage drawers, cabinets down below. And that's not even the coolest part. So this island here, something I always talk about in my videos is space to hide a garbage can. You've got some nice storage space under your island here, but if you pull this one open, trash can is already set up for you. So you have a place to tuck that away so it's not sitting out in the open air. You have some nice storage space in here too. And you'll get a couple of these drawers for silverware, other small things. You'll get this nice removable spray nozzle, sink cover and single bowl, just farmhouse style sink. And this island has not just one, but two of these pop-out extensions. So you have a ton of space to spread out all of your things while you're cooking. If you have people over and you're hosting at your campsite, you can set out just trays of snacks and food. There's so much space here. Okay, I don't wanna get banned from coming here. I broke it. Um, but you have the pretty typical 12 volt Furion refrigerator and freezer here. So you'll get a lot of space to store your food. And then take a look at this. This whole thing right here is pantry. So when we open these up, you have shelving, motion sensor, LED light strip. So if you're grabbing a little midnight snack, you can see what's going on there. And then this doubles as a coat closet if you remove these or you can remove these to different heights to store whatever you need to in this pantry. This is so much storage space. Now moving down the hallway, we'll take a left. This is your mid bunk room. You can see here, there's a lot of space to move around. So this is just not a little corner bunk bed area. You can use it as a bunk room. You've got the twin bed and the pullout sofa here, but you can also use this as an office space, a separate hangout space, or a storage room. You can put some things in here. You've got more space down here. And on this wall, you have a TV backer space, cable hookups, and this little pop-up desk. So again, for this room, the possibilities are not limited by just using it as a bunk room. Now, as we head upstairs, there is another space for sleeping, this loft. This is so fun for young kids. Anytime young kids come out and visit me at Lazy Days and we've got something with a bunk, they love it. So that's a fun area. But if you're only using this as office space, this could serve as a nice extra storage area too. Now walking in the master bathroom, you have this pocket door, so there won't be a door coming into the hallway, making things all wonky. You have a door getting into the bedroom, but this one isn't going to get in the way of your hallway. So this is done very strategically and it's pretty smart to have one of these here so you don't have doors colliding in your hallway. So when we step in, you got the shower with a skylight. So this is tall people friendly. And then here's your sink. 
you have some drawers and medicine cabinet storage. And then you have towel racks, linen closet, nice deep space here for bathroom storage. And check this out. It's the little things. How many bathrooms have a pull-out trash can in them? Incredible, really. Even this, just a small detail. You've got this toilet paper holder. It's connected there by a magnet, but you can bring all the RVTP that you'll need and keep it stacked up right here. Now, finally, for the 3800 MB, we're moving up into the front bedroom. You've got a second AC up here. Your king bed is on a slide. Something that I love, just again, little things that they've done differently. You have side tables mounted up here versus down here. So if you have a fifth wheel now and you can't stop hitting your head on your side table, look no further. These are mounted up here, but you have outlet USB hookups here. So if you need to charge phones, you can still keep those right here. You've got windows on each side of the bed. And then right across from that, you're going to get some storage drawers. There's a spot for a TV here. And then in front, you have this closet space. So it's a little mirror, you open it up. There is washer dryer prep on board if you're looking for full-time living or most of the time living. But check out all this space. There's a hanging rack. Okay, I could have maybe gotten into a little tiny bit more detail, but I mainly wanted to, with this video, go through some of the floor plan differences between this one, the 3800 MB. Now we're gonna take a look over at the 3801 MB to see what is actually different. Okay, so again, this is a Blackthorn still. It's still a mid bunk, and they are the same exact size. So what in the world is different? Not this up here. You still got the nice big pass-through storage. You'll get six point auto leveling on both because this is not a small fifth wheel. You still got that storage there. Still have two awnings. But here it is. So the 3801 MB has the outdoor kitchen. You've got a little mini fridge in here. A pull out griddle. And then this TV, the cool thing about this while you're traveling, you can push this button and that will send that right back up so that it's out of the way and it isn't shaking around while you're bumping down the road. So here's a view of the griddle. You have the gray stone flat top griddle, pulls right out and comes with a connection for your propane connect. So on the 3800 MB, you do still have a propane connect, but none of this stuff is going to be included. So it's up to you to bring your own grill on that one. Now I know what you may be thinking at first, what in the world is the drawback of having an outdoor kitchen? Well, because your kitchen is outside, they couldn't just put a window right here because then where would they store the kitchen? So this main area of the interior floor plan is going to look a little bit different because they had to design this differently in order to fit that outdoor kitchen there. So main big difference is you're only going to get the one window overlooking the campsite. You still have this side window and these both still open to let in some fresh air. But the big difference here is you're only going to have this corner view versus a full view of your campsite. So what it really comes down to is your preference. If you're someone that doesn't really use an outdoor kitchen and would rather have more windows to let in more light and give you more visibility out to your campsite, then getting into something like this where the TV is directly smack dab in front of your view might not be the right thing for you. But East to West Blackthorn they've thought of this already and made the two so that you can pick and choose. If you do want the outdoor kitchen and you want the mid bunk, this will be the right floor plan. But if you'd rather have the windows, you can easily look at everything in this one and say, hey, I like this, but I don't really want that outdoor kitchen. And then you can start looking at the 3800 MB, which will give you more windows, 
on this side to view your campsite, but take out that outdoor kitchen. So just a quick overview here then, you have the same kind of setup with the booth and freestanding chairs. You have the one window, same entertainment center, just on that other side. And you'll also get the same window view back here behind your three-seater sofa. This is also a hide-a-bed. Your recliners are going to just be on the opposite side as they are on the 3800 MB. And then your kitchen looks very similar. This area is slightly different. You've got your cabinets set up a little bit differently, but you still have a lot of space under here. You've got cabinet here and storage up here. So this has been rearranged a little, but you still have the same amount of storage below your island. You still have the pull-out trash can, the two extendable countertop, and then you'll get the same fridge, the same pantry. Middle bunk room is identical. And then as we go up the stairs, you'll see everything up here in the front part of this floor plan is going to be exactly the same as what's in the 3800 MB. And this is all the same as well. So that is it for the comparison. Um, I think that it's super smart that they do this this way because the outdoor kitchen is such a popular option, but it's definitely one of those things where sometimes I'll meet people that really don't want to have that and having more window space is just more important to them or having more storage space on this side is just more important to them. So it's awesome that they have two floor plans that are almost exactly alike, but it allows you to make your choice of which feature is more important to you. Thank you again to the lovely people at East to West Blackthorn for having me here today. I'm so excited about this product. It is beautifully done. It's designed by a woman, so naturally I love it. But I hope this video was helpful for you and insightful. There's a couple of different Blackthorn floor plans where they do one of two that are the same. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!